Okay, how often do you use your cell phone every day? I know this is the age of cell phones and everybody has one cell phone right from uh, people who work uh, I mean uh, in uh, small small places even auto drivers everybody uh, to the topmost uh, uh, bureaucrats everybody has a cell phone but sometimes uh, we should learn the etiquette etiquette means the manners in which you use your cell phone um, everything has its own refinement like when you know the etiquette of uh, using a cell phone then you are a refined person okay do you receive more calls or do you make more calls whatever it is now we are going to see how two people talk over the phone okay I'm just going to write a dialogue and explain to you also the tips in using a cell phone, the etiquette of using a cell phone because that's very important these days. So you should know that. Okay. I'll just write telephone conversation here. Telephone conversation. I am going to write a dialogue now. This is between Kumar and Rajini and uh, Kumar, Rajini and Radha. I think I can know. Uh, Kumar. He picks up the receiver of the ringing phone. Okay, he gets a call. Hello. Um, this is number... I'll write NO dot for number 2583241. This is Kumar here. When you receive a call, you should say who, who is uh, on the line, okay. Whether you call someone or receive a call, you should tell them that you are uh, so and so. Rajini speaks. Hello, I am Rajini. And Rajini doesn't want to talk to Kumar. She wants to speak to Radha. May I speak to? Radha, please. Immediately, Kumar says, um, Just a minute. Just a minute. Uh, kindly be on the line. Look at the way they are so polite. They say kindly be on the line. And Radha comes and picks up the phone. Hi Rajini. So Kumar has gone and uh, told Radha that, uh, um, see uh, Rajini, I am Rajini. So she is already told. So uh, Kumar has gone and told Radha that Rajini is on the line. So she says, hi Rajini. How are you?
Where were you all these days? Every time I called your landline, the answering voice from the exchange said that your number did not exist. So, every time I tried the landline, The voice said, which voice? The answering machine voice said that the number did not exist. I have written NO dot for number. So, Rajini gives the explanation. I have changed my I have changed my residence to Ananaga. My phone number is, my number now is I have taken a new job at Ananaga and hence I had to shift. Then Radha inquires about a job. Well, how do you like your job? How do you like your new job? And uh, Rajini says, it's quite interesting. It's a telephone operating It's a telephone operating company And I find most people
do not know how to use or how to talk then radha rajini says that and radha says that's true rajini i think we should have an orientation program for people as to how to use a phone okay i'm going to stop here and uh, we will discuss now okay if you look at this conversation uh, the conversation starts with kumar picking up the phone because string ring the phone call rings and then he picks up the phone and says hello this is number 25 83241 this is kumar here okay as soon as he says that rajini knows that uh, uh, kumar is not the person that she wants to talk to she wants to talk to radha her friend so immediately rajini says uh, hello who is that did he ask like that or hello or kumar did he pick up the phone and say hello who is this this is how many people talk this is very bad manners so he is very polite in saying hello this is number this and this is kumar here and rajini immediately kumar who is that keep the phone down did he say that no hello i am rajini may i speak to radha please look at the way may i and please these are the etiquette words okay may i speak to radha please and immediately kumar says no no don't uh, i can't call uh, radha uh, call later did he say that he said just a minute kindly be on the line kindly see the polite words okay kindly be on the line and radha comes and picks up the phone and kumar has already told one of your friends maybe uh, rajini wants to talk to you and so radha comes and picks up the phone she says hi rajini how are you where were you all these days every time i tried the landline the voice said that the number did not exist rajini immediately she replies i have changed my residence to ananagar my number now is 26154848 now why has the number changed see always a landline according to the area the landline changes if you shift your house from one uh, part of chennai to another part of chennai like the pin code your telephone number also will change okay bear it in mind you can't use the same number in a different place so her number has changed to this now earlier it was 25 now ananaga it is 26 okay I've taken a new job at Ananagar and hence I had to shift. So she is giving the reason as to why she has moved to Ananagar. So Radha says, "Well, how do you like your new job?" So since she has taken a new job, Radha is just uh, asking in a kind way how she likes the new job. And Rajini says, "It's quite interesting." 
it is a telephone operating company and I find most people do not know how to talk over a phone and Radha says that is true Rajini I think we should have an orientation program for people as to how to use a phone. So uh, Rajini and Radha they are discussing about how people do not even know the etiquette like some of them bang the phone, some of them uh, they just uh, are rude. Uh, sometimes they will call and they will say who is it? Then we will say it is you who called, you have to say. Like if I call a number and say uh, when somebody picks up, hello who is that? This is how many people talk over the phone. Then I will have to say excuse me you are the one who called now. And you have to say who you want and uh, who, uh, whom I am talking to, isn't it? So you just call and you say who are you? It is so impolite, so rude. So now we are going to learn, I am going to give you some tips on how to use a phone, how to carry on a conversation in a, over the phone, okay? So just copy down this and practice, take uh, roles and you role play the conversations and you will get uh, me you will become a master of all these telephone conversations along with the tips that I'm going to give you okay now we are still uh, going on with the telephone conversations uh, the dialogue was between Radha and Rajini now uh, Rajini was telling how um, she was telling rather how she has problem with her uh, work and people do not know how to use a cell phone they sometimes scream into the phone and all. So let us see what exactly her problems are and then we are going to discuss how to solve these problems okay that is when I am going to give you the tips uh, okay uh, rather asks. Uh, how do you like the job she asked isn't it for which Rajini says it's interesting but I find most people don't know how to talk on a phone they yell into the receiver loud enough to shatter my eardrums they don't introduce themselves either Radha why should they Rajini Radha it is an office Someone I don't know by voice may ring up for a person who is not present in the office. I must either convey a message or at least inform him who had called. The, the caller will just bang down the receiver before I can complete any uh, inquiry for a name or message. Radha. I can well imagine your plight banging down the receiver without a sorry or thank you speaks very poorly of one's behavior. I have often experienced it myself. The phone will ring in the middle of the night and when I pick up the receiver the caller will ask for some unknown person. Before I can complete my answer that there is no such person here, the caller will disconnect without so much as a sorry for disturbing my sleep. Rajini, I think we should start a short summer course on telephone etiquette. Radha, yes we should. Let's do it. We will plan it, summer, hol summer holidays is still not far away. Rajini, when do I get to meet you again? Radha, Radha says, will you be free on Sunday? And Rajini, yes, I will call you up and fix the time, okay? Bye for now, Radha says bye. So if you see uh, what are the things that people usually do, they just call an office, 
at least if it's your relative if it's your uh, house you'll know only your relatives will call or your uh, friends will call but if you are working in an office and you get a call how will the person who attends the call know that uh, so and so is calling so isn't it necessary that you should give your name yes so people do not do this at all this is one minus point in your etiquette when you call an office you have to give your name and the purpose for which you have called secondly if you uh, find that it's the wrong number that you've uh, connected to you should you should never bang the receiver and just say okay uh, thank god i escaped from this call it's a wrong number don't do that just say sorry it's a wrong number that i've called or you can just say uh, excuse me could you please connect me to so and so or excuse me could you please uh, take down a message for so and so okay these are the um, things that you should do now i'm sure from uh, after listening to all this uh, conversation after seeing this dvd you will never do such things and you are going to be well refined in your etiquette in telephone conversation i am going to give you some tips now in the above conversation the following etiquette of manners um, are uh, revealed when you pick up the receiver you have to mention your name or the phone number and do not only say hello so i'm take down these steps okay very very important these are etiquette okay um i'm just going to give you six points six points and you are going to write it okay e t i q u e t t e etiquette now tips when you when you uh, pick up the receiver when you pick up the receiver mention your name what should you do when you pick up the receiver just now i told you mention your name mention your name or what else can we do or the phone number okay when you pick up the receiver mention your name or the phone number will you do that yes next point do not say hello only do not just say hello and and do not do not speak too loud sometimes 
in a hospital or uh, in a public place uh, we have heard people speaking so loud they'll forget that there are people around and they'll keep on shouting hello is it ramu oh i am uh, here i uh, yesterday i went there and i had biryani what did you have for lunch all this should everybody know what you are going to have for lunch it's so ridiculous isn't it so when you speak personal matters go to a corner or go out of a room where people are gathered and you go out and speak in a gentle voice you why you shout so loud is you are not able to hear that other person because there is a big crowd around so in order to overcome that uh, uh, lack of uh, hearing you make a loud noise so this is a mistake so do not just say hello and do not speak too loud next point if the caller wants to talk to someone at the same place ask him politely to hold the line while you call him to the phone that's what we saw in the dialogue if the caller wants to speak to someone wants to talk to someone ask him or her politely to politely to hold the line politely to hold the line hold the line till you call him or while you call that person to the phone okay this is what we saw in the dialogue or the previous dialogue when uh, kumar picked up the phone what did he say kindly be on the line i'll go and call radha rajini wanted to speak to radha and what did uh, kumar say kindly be on the line and how, what did rajini say uh, could i speak to radha please see all these please and sorry and kindly all these words make you a refined person next point do not talk too long on the phone sometimes you should know how to give the gist of uh, the information uh, what you do you go on and on and on blah 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 unnecessary details uh, it, this is not see when you see a person you can talk everything but over the phone if you keep talking for a long time giving uh, expanded details you are preventing another caller from Uh, calling up to that particular line maybe the other person is trying and trying and trying and your phone is engaged all the time or an office phone is engaged all the time so you are preventing another person from making a call okay so you should remember that so do not talk too long over the phone you may be preventing you 
you may be preventing an urgent call maybe somebody is very sick and uh, uh, they are trying to call you and inform you and uh, you are talking all uh, uh, all the stories to somebody else and what happens that person may even die the uh, way you are going on talking and talking the person who's ailing or one who's sick and they want to give you the message of this of his or her sickness uh, that person may even die by the time you keep the phone down so you have to be very careful do not talk too long over the phone you may be preventing an urgent call next point do not make calls at odd hours uh, like 12 o'clock in the night or 2 o'clock early morning you should never make such calls because you should respect the other person's privacy also like they may be sleeping uh, and also lunch time if you call also they may be eating so you should not call uh, or make calls at odd hours unless it is an emergency okay sometimes we forget when we make calls uh, if you want to call a person in america when you call when you have day time they may have night time so you may just think of a person who's abroad who's in usa and you want to just make a call and speak to him and you will forget that this time here will be a night time there any place like that whether it's britain or france or australia the time differs so you should check the time and then only make a call you can't just at random according to your whims and fancies make a call okay so when you make a call see that it's not an odd hour for the person whom you're calling so do not make calls at odd hours unless it is an emergency okay apologize for wrong numbers and late calls in case you dial the wrong number you have to apologize apologize for wrong numbers and late calls okay how do you apologize apologize means how do you apologize you should say i'm sorry in case you make a wrong number you dial a wrong number and it's not the number that you actually wanted in case you want to speak to sheila and it goes to munasami what should you say i'm sorry uh, i think it's a wrong number i've dialed a wrong number and you should keep or also if you're calling somebody if it's an emergency or an uh, urgent call and you're calling at a late uh, night at late night you should say i'm sorry i'm calling you up so late because it's an emergency and i have to convey this message okay so sorry um, kindly please uh, all these words or thank you when somebody does something over the phone also you have to be very very polite okay this is telephone etiquette etiquette means manners okay 
even there are uh, the manners when you eat at the table. Uh, so everything has etiquette. So this exactly is what you should follow when you talk to a person. Now I'll read out the um, five, six points now on telephone etiquette. I'm sure you're going to be thorough with it. When you pick up the receiver, mention your name or the phone number. Okay, that's the first point. Do not say just hello and uh, do not speak too loud. Just don't keep telling hello, hello, hello. You have to give your number or what you want over the phone you have to say, isn't it? Just simply say hello, hello, hello and that person also says hello, whom do you want? Hello, then it's so irritating for the other person, okay? And also do not speak too loud. I told you um, the recent uh, conversation we saw that the other person's eardrums will burst. So you shouldn't speak too loud. And also the person who is ma making a lot of noise in that particular area you will be disturbing the other's work. Okay. If the caller wants to talk to someone else, ask him or her politely to hold, hold the line while you call that person to the phone. So in case uh, you are not the person whom the other caller wants, you should ask him or her to kindly wait till you go and call that person, okay. If the caller wants to talk to someone else, ask him or her to politely hold the line while you call that person to the phone, okay. So what should you say? Kindly, please wait or kindly wait. Next point, do not talk too long over the phone. You may be preventing an urgent call. For example, um, your grandmother uh, is in some other place, you are in Chennai and your grandmother is in Trichy. And she has been ailing for a long time. She has been sick for a long time. And here you are chatting and chatting with your friend for a long time on the phone. Hey, how are you? Uh, how is this? How is that? Uh, and uh, you are talking about your college days and she is talking about uh, her uh, family problems. And you go on and on and on. And your uh, uncle uh, from Trichy is trying to contact you. And your phone is engaged throughout. So what can he do? He wants you to come over there or he wants to inform about the sickness of the grandmother and she's about to die and you're all you're chatting and chatting away to glory over your uh, about uh, your own fancies to your friend. Okay. So this will avoid an urgent or emergency call. Okay, so don't do that. Be very crisp when you speak over the phone. Do not make calls at odd hours unless it is an emergency. So when you call, the receiver should be comfortable with the time. Otherwise, don't call. Don't call somebody after 11 o'clock after they go to sleep. You should always, in case you have to make a call also, uh, hello, I am so and so calling, is it too late to call? Shall I call you tomorrow or is it okay? So you can ask their permission and then call, okay? Next one, apologize for wrong numbers and late calls. If at all you made a call uh, and uh, you wanted to convey something, just say, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, uh, it's too late to call, but still I wanted to convey this message, okay? You have to apologize. In case it's a wrong number also, you have to say sorry. I think uh, I, I thought it was such and such a number and I'm, so, I'm extremely sorry and you can keep the phone down, okay? So these tips you have to bear in mind. And next time do not make any mistakes otherwise they will think that you are an unrefined, uncouth person who is not at all had any uh, sort of culture in you. Okay, So do not repeat your mistakes again. 
Here are a few more tips on telephone etiquette and courtesies which will help the person you are talking with uh, to form a good opinion of you and your efficiency in telephone conversation. First point, when making a call, always plan what you want to speak about so that you save time and show confidence through uh, having prepared yourself. See, uh, nowadays, even interviews are being conducted over the telephone. Telephone interview, they say. So at such times, if you keep talking unnecessary details, it will uh, give a bad opinion of you on the other side. So you, in order to gain good opinion, you have to chart out. First, you prepare, jot down the points that you are going to speak and then call the person. Suit your style to that of the person you are talking to. Now, if you're talking to an old person, you can't be talking all, hi, who, 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 you know, jolly, we can go out and play and this and that. If you say, how will that old person feel? So, you have to uh, chalk, uh, chart out according to the receiver, okay. Suit your style to that of the person you're talking to. Busy people would like you to be brief and direct without unnecessary conversation and drawl in your uh, tone. Like, you know, you see like that if you keep drawling, it irritates the person who's listening because they may be in a hurry to do something and you're just wasting their time. Others may want a more sociable and easy flow of conversation. When you are the caller, avoid talking to anyone else in the room while you are on the phone. This is another wrong thing. Like you, you are talking to someone and if you keep talking to someone else, uh, maybe the uh, maid uh, has come and you just, uh, without even putting this person on hold, you just keep talking, other you can sweep that place, okay, you fill water, do this, wash clothes and all that. It looks as though you are talking to this person, okay. So, you should know that etiquette. So, you, you should say kindly be on the line or uh, I will just put you on hold. I will come back after uh, half a minute and then you can give instruction and then get back, okay. So, when, you're, uh, when you are the caller, avoid here talking to anyone else in the room while you are on the phone unless it is directly related to the phone conversation. If the caller and you are connected to someone else, then you can uh, talk to that person. Maybe two brothers you are talking and uh, mother is also there in the room. Now just uh, wait, I will ask Amma and you can just ask her something and Amma says like this. But do not ever include somebody else unknown to the caller. Respond to a ringing phone immediately. It could be an important call. Besides, you will appear slack and inefficient if you let your phone ring too long and cause annoyance at the other end. Talk clearly into the phone. Avoid talking while eating. You know what happens when you are eating? Mm, 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 yeah, mm. So your words are not clear. And also it gives a very bad impression of the person on the other end when you are eating and talking. So please avoid that. Take messages for members of the family or members in the office who are not available to answer their calls and make sure you note the name of the caller uh, or his or her phone number and the time of the call. You can't just say uh, to your friend, you know, so and so, um, you know, there was a call for you. Okay, who called? I don't know. I didn't take down the number or I didn't take down the name. Of what use is it if you just inform there was a call without even giving proper details about it. So 
you should always take down the uh, caller's name or the phone number. End the call politely thanking the caller or the receiver and assuring a return call if required. So when you end the call just say thank you and I will surely convey the message or so and so. Okay? So this is how you maintain telephone etiquette. Okay, now I am just going to test how uh, you have received the message that I gave you and we will have a very simple conversation and you are going to fill in half the conversation. Okay? Now this is a caller and a receiver. I will just write a caller. Hello. Receiver. No. No, I am his brother. My brother has gone out. Okay, caller. This is Do you know where he has gone? Now the receiver replies. You are going to fill in all these blanks, okay? I'm sorry. I don't know. But he'll be back by lunch. By lunch time. Could you or would you Okay, after I finish, I'm going to check with you and we are going to fill. Call up. I prefer leaving a message. He is to report at the NCC room Tomorrow in full uniform.
receiver. What do you think the receiver will say? What would the receiver say? I'll call her. And what would the caller say? Now you are going to fill everything. Caller. Hello, is it? Now uh, the receiver says no, I am his brother Gopu. So definitely he won't be calling Gopu, isn't it? So hello, is it uh, uh, Ravi? Is it Ravi? Immediately, what does the receiver say? No, I am his brother Gopu. My brother has gone out. Okay. Now, caller says, this is Dash's friend. Now, first, uh, we have filled up with who the caller is. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, whom the caller wants and now we are going to fill up who the caller is. The caller wanted Ravi but only Gopu his brother picked up the phone. Now the caller says uh, he is introducing himself. This is Ram his friend. Do you know where he has gone? And immediately the receiver that is Gopu says I am sorry, I don't know, but he will be back by lunch time. So he will be back for lunch, so definitely at that time you can talk to him, he says. So he is asking, he is giving two options, could you, what would he ask, call again or would you leave a message, could you call again. Or could you call later? Could you call later or could you call again? Or would you like to leave a message? Okay, see how you have learned to make a dialogue. Why we get this clue is the next line, I prefer leaving a message. So when he gives two options to the caller, uh, the caller, uh, okay, he says that he would like to or he prefers, he shows his likes, okay. I prefer leaving a message. This, uh, this message, what is a message? He is to report at the NCC, this is C, NCC room at 5.30 tomorrow, 5.30 a.m. tomorrow in full uniform. What is the message? That he is supposed to be present at the NCC room or NCC hall the next day at 5.30 a.m. that is early morning tomorrow, the next day in full uniform. He has to be in full NCC uniform. Receiver says, I'll, what would he say? I'll surely pass on the message. And what does the caller say? Thank you. You can stop with thank you or you can even say thank you. That was kind of you. Instead of was we can say is itself. That is so kind of you. Okay, so we have filled in a complete dialogue and uh, uh, now you know the etiquette, the manners and how you should 
um, talk, everything. So I'm sure you're well versed in it. Now the caller says, hello, is it Ravi? Receiver says, no, I'm his brother Gopu. My brother has gone out. Caller, this is Ram, his friend. Do you know where he has gone? Receiver, I'm sorry, I don't know. But he'll be back by lunchtime. Could you call again or would you like to leave a message? There's a question mark. Okay. Then the caller says, I prefer leaving a message. He is to report at the NCC room at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow in full uniform. Receiver. I'll surely pass on the message. Or you can even say, I'll uh, surely inform him. Or I shall definitely inform him. And the caller says, thank you, that's so, that is so kind of you or that's so kind of you. Okay. You can put this together as that's so kind of you that's uh, that's really uh, so good of you or just thank you also is enough okay so this is how you will carry on a conversation and we'll move on to the next session